Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Keto back with another tutorial. It's been a, been a mean minute, but today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Twitch shake tutorial. What you want to do first, you want to go ahead, get your clips that you want to put the Twitch on. So I already have my two using file force. Now, a lot of people, they put their Twitch on the clip, but I just find it more useful if you um put it actually on an adjustment layer so um if you don't know how to make an adjustment layer just hit control alt y and the adjustment layer gonna pop up or you can go up here to where it says layer go to new and hit adjustment layer so just trim the clip um you could just do this or you could just all bracket whichever floats your boat i usually make the twitch um like three frames so i'm not saying that's a concrete number that you're supposed to do all the time but majority of the time this just works most of the time but you want to adjust it to each clip that you do but in this scenario we're just gonna do um three frames for the sake of the tutorial so one two and then it's gonna make the three frames the third frame when I cut it. So grab the Twitch plugin. Now um let's open everything up. Um so the amount is basically how much of the twitch you want and the speed is how fast do you want it to go i usually put it around like 40 or something like that because you know that's a de decent speed almost halfway of 100. i put the um the amount at 30 you know not too much like kind of have it looks a little subtle but you know it's a little shaking going on there and um this is the important part you know it will not work if you don't enable these um, icons. I'm gonna show you which ones to enable, but it won't work, see? It won't work unless you put it on there. So um, enable the light, the scale, and the slide so it can have that blur on there too as well. And then that's basically it. You can bring it out more. Like you can even um, change the seed of it and the seed basically means it changes the shape direction of the um twitch so if i you know increase the numbers it's gonna shake differently than the original one and i use this a lot depending on like the clip you know what i'm saying because sometimes um it doesn't shake how i want it to shake so i just mess with the seed See, even that one looks good. But for the um, tutorial's sake, um, I'm just gonna keep it at zero to normal speed, meaning the normal shape pattern. You can put um, a scale on here to, you know, make it seem like it has more impact than what it really has. It's gonna do a quick scale here. Let's just do like 150 or something like that. This is all freestyle, so I'm just, we're just gonna adjust it um based on based on how it looks so we're gonna see what this look like um if you don't know how to scale you can go check out my scale tutorial i have the um the link in the description see that even as look good you know? maybe have this back a little bit But yeah, I mean, they, you basically done already. I'm just showing you extra stuff at this point. Maybe make that a little bit sharper. Yeah, that, that's good. And that's basically it, guys. I mean, like I say, you can mess around with some of these uh, other options up here. Like, you can even um go down here and customize the... Uh, like how fast it shakes down to the detail like the spread how far do you want to spread out and stuff like that but um this is just extra you can change the slide direction so um you can de definitely get really creative with it um instead of just you know using the base um settings of it and you, you can 
get right down to the knee of it you know what i'm saying so let me know how i did on this tutorial because it's been a minute um if you guys enjoyed the tutorial and it helped you out just leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials more music and more edits of course